Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Light original. Welcome to All My Drink, Extra Juice with Charlene and Ellie, brought to you by Go Loud. This is our bonus episode. Extra Juice! If this is your oh. first time listening, this is where we do even more of your dilemmas. Mm-hmm. We give you a little bit of advice. They come flying in. I just had a donut and it was delicious. I had, yeah, wait, how many did we have? The first one I had one and a half. beautiful. Yeah, what was in it? Chocolate? No, cream. Oh no. Yeah, it was, it was like normal cream. glaze and then cream on the inside. Oh, the little round kind of? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a lovely one. We always ask for your updates and we give advice because we would like to know if we actually help people. For if we ruined <laughs> your life. And we have two updates this week. This is so exciting because we don't read these before we start. So I love when I remember when we read out the updates and then I remember what the dilemma is that or, came yeah, in. Or what we oh, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Okay, here's the dilemma. It was in bonus episode 37, so a good few weeks ago now. So the dilemma was we have another friend, friend number three, we'll call her. I introduced her to her current boyfriend and since then we rarely ever hear from her. And when we do... She's sitting around waiting for what the plan is to work around or if he can drive to where we're going to meet. We've spoken to her about this before, making more of an effort with friends again as we don't want to be going out and doing things without her thinking we didn't invite her but it's coming to a point where it's like we're talking to a brick wall. The advice we gave <laughs> is there's only so many times that people can ask you to do things. True. And we said say to the girl if she wants to be asked to do things. Okay. Okay. Is that fair advice yeah. that we gave? Yeah. Ah, I'm shitting it. <laughs> so the update is Hi girls, update on what happened. Our friend's relationship has ended oh. due to him having a secret <gasps> girlfriend of four years while being with my friend. I am flabbergasted. Oh, I set them up so he lied to me about being single as well. The fuck? He hid his other relationship from our friend. How do we find the people t- people find the time today to have a secret relationship? Distress. Imagine the, st- the panic you'd be under the Jesus. whole time. Jesus. Hannah Montana. Um, he hid this other relationship from our friend and would always disappear for hours on end and not answer his phone now we know the reason why we have currently had to have an uncomfortable conversation with her about not going back to him which naturally she didn't listen to him met up with him over the weekend and lied and ignore us to do so any advice on how to move past this or would it be worth taking our separate ways she's going to do what she wants to do and she needs to learn it herself trust me trust what, me what, four year secret relationship could like, you forgive that? She's like, regardless, you could say... You could probably tell her he was an axe murder. <laughs> and she still would. No, but sir, that's how blinded by yeah. love you can be. Honestly, like, you, you have your love goggles on. Like, and she's... Nothing is going to change her mind. And you, you'll end up... It'll end up putting a strain on your relationship with your friend because you'll end up just being blue in the face telling her what she should be doing. But when... Excuse me. When somebody doesn't want to listen... To what they should be listening to, they're not. They're not going. They're not to. going to. Do you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of up to the person themselves, as in the friend themselves. If, as in the friend who's writing this, if you want to stick by someone while they're doing that, mm. no one can tell you. We can't say yeah, do no, don't. Like some people have friends that would stick by them, some people mm. don't. Yeah, and it's just whether you can kind of deal with that and separate yourself from the situation because Mm. it's easy to get involved and to have your mind wrecked with it but like if you can separate the situation and her and have her as just a friend and like not be involved in that kind of side of it Mm -hmm. that might be good to do and be like look I'm not going to really help you with the situation I know what he's like he's had a four year relationship he's obviously not a good man that's mental that is like two birds four years Jesus Christ like that some men can barely handle one yeah I I know I think, imagine having a fight with one of them and you're just like, I'll still feel oh. like, She's breaking my head. Um, yeah, I think separating and being like, look, I just don't really want to be hearing about him because I'm, you know, how I feel. And, yeah. it, it'll, it'll end up being, that if, yeah. it'll end up being hard on your, rela- on your relationship with your friend. Yeah. So, yeah, like Charlene said, it's whether you, you're willing to still stick by her and just realise she's going to do what she wants to do and she needs to find out, she needs to, find out for herself yeah like I don't think it either makes you like a bad person but no. I think like if you've been in any situation where your your head has been you've been blinded you'll understand that mm-hmm. like it's not as easy as oh Te- why doesn't she just not see him like yeah. not that no, easy like I wish it was but I think she has to find out herself even though she has found out herself 
Yeah. She already found out. But yeah. She needs to find out. Yeah, I've seen something on TikTok that said, you have to keep going back until you hate them. True. <laughs> Which, no, honestly, like, it sounds so, like, bad advice, but it's true. Like, yeah. until you actually don't want to be with them anymore. Until it clicks in your head. Yeah, one day. you do get that click. click. There's yeah. literally a day that you wake up and you go, what? You wait, it's like you actually wake up yeah. from life. What have I yeah. been doing? Yeah. What have I been putting up with? So yeah. her day will come and that will happen. It's just whether you want to be around for her when that eventually does happen. Yeah. Or if you want to stick by her now or wait for that to happen or, yeah. 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 I think whatever you, can you imagine your life without her kind of thing? Mm. And if the answer is no, then take a step back from her situation, but don't take a, ba- take a step back from her. Yeah. The next update then um, was a dilemma that came in in episode 59. So we're going back a good while. So this is, so the dilemma was, I was seeing this guy last Christmas and he was absolutely, he absolutely love bombed me for a month straight and I fell hard and fast. I remember this bastard. Do you? He then got back with his ex on New Year's Eve, but lied to me saying he wasn't feeling me and wasn't, well, yeah, he wasn't feeling me. And was faking it the entire time and just wasn't mentally ready for a relationship, basically. Then he showed up at my doorstep one night while he was still with her, trying to apologise and be a big man about it. I ended up slamming the door in his face, obviously. Anyways, cut to now, he's after adding me back on Snapchat yesterday because he's now single again. And is like, please let me make it up to you. I'll take you out for dinner when you're back in the UK. Saying how much he misses me, doesn't even know what, and doesn't even know why I'm giving him the time of day but he's grateful and he wants to put everything right and I don't know what to do I did really like him at the time but haven't even thought about him since now since now he's come back and has completely fucked my brain I don't know what to do so the advice that we gave is it's a red flag don't Don't let let him back back in in. that's what (laughs) we said the update is, hi girls, this is an update from a dilemma you guys gave me advice on. Silly me, I didn't take your advice. It's okay. It's okay. Fine. We still love you. Yeah. And believe that this guy would change and boy was I wrong. Mm-hmm. We started seeing each other again and everything was fine and seemed to be going really well. I slept with him on a Monday and we planned to see each other again on the Sunday. I texted him Saturday morning just being like, hi morning, how are you or whatever and it was dead air. He texted me the following Monday then saying he wasn't feeling it. I didn't reply because I didn't want to get into a back and forth. About two weeks later, he hard launched a relationship on Instagram. It's left me feeling like such a mug and I'm like, do I let this girl know? Safe to say I'll be taking your advice in the future. You girls are definitely our Bible. Woo! Anyways, love you both. Can't even tell you how much the pod has done for me. Oh, me birds. He hard launched a relationship. Oh my. This... The lack of shame for men. They just don't give a ball of me every yeah. time. It's just as if, like, regardless of what they're up to or, or doing, when it is found out, they just don't care. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Like, two weeks after. Yeah. She, he knows she could well go and text the girl and he's like... Mm. But he probably just I'll thinks... Away with it. Yeah, I have her wrapped around my, the new girl wrapped around my finger. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Would you text the girl? <clears throat> no, I'd completely leave that whole situation now. Would you? Yeah, come on. Girl, listen to us this time. Block that out. Uh, you don't need that bad energy in your life. warn like. her? No, it's not, it's not your job. We've talked about that before, I think. Do you warn the new girl about somebody that you've had run-ins in with? No, that's not your job. Yeah. It's not. Oh, God. Because I'd be afraid of what if you text her and she's like, I only met him a week ago and you look like a dick. <laughs> well, well, yeah, what if she's not. like, I know. But like, obviously not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what if she's That's like, I know. Aware, but I would, I always think of it, if I, I'd want someone to do it for me and tell me. Uh, I don't know. Because this girl, especially, they don't know about each other. They're n- like, they're nothing to each other at all. Yeah, that's why I think you shouldn't. Yeah. Oh. I think if you kind of know of somebody, you can give them a heads up or whatever. Yeah. But like, because they're literally, if they don't know each other at all, it's not your job. Yeah, it's not my problem. Yeah, she's going to find out. I don't know. I think, t- I would say tell her. I don't, I don't even like conversation, like, but I just think I'd, it would sit on my head. Especially because it's like just like sex, you know what I mean? I think just block the whole thing out. Block like, the whole thing out. Yeah, he's shown you twice now. And say good riddance. Come on, bird. Yeah. The red flag is waving high. It is. 
amber. It re- like it's really. I know really amber's strong. orange. Never yeah. mind. No, <laughs> it's red. It's definitely bright red. So God, thank you for the update, though. Yeah. We love and next too. time, listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just goes to show you have to just learn for yourself. You do, yeah. And you have to learn your own lesson and be like, Fuck yeah. Me. It's nearly, it's nearly stronger when you learn it yourself. It is. It is. Yeah. There's one thing someone telling you, but you learn it in practicality mm. in the real world. Yeah, yeah. Much more effective. Okay, let's answer some secrets and stalls now. Okay, okay. After them, brilliant updates. Um. Well, are they brilliant? They're good. I think whenever yeah. you learn a lesson, it's good. Yeah. So all these dilemmas have been sent into our email address. It's homeodrink at goloudnow.com. Um, the first one is, hey girls, I absolutely love the podcast. It's really helped me out over the past few weeks. I'm currently just four weeks out of a four-year relationship with someone I thought would be in my life forever. We went through a lot of things together in our relationship and never had many, any major bust-ups or arguments. So never did I think I would behave the way he has the past four weeks. I got broken up with on a random Wednesday, no indication beforehand or ending. I was completely blindsided. Fast forward two weeks after the breakup, he goes out with friends and kisses someone else. I found out from one of his other, one of his drunken friends a week later, still to say he hasn't addressed with me. And then just four weeks later, him and a girl I'm friends with from our area were out in town and got with each other. He's emotionally blackmailing our friends to not tell me that he's doing this shady shit after he does it, saying to them that they're not to tell me because I'll only be upset. Never did I think someone I loved so much would have so little respect for me. It's very hard as we live two minutes away from each other. I work with his sister and we're in the same friend group since we're kids. He passes by my work most days and for the first few weeks when all this was unknown to me, I still waved him to be civil but obviously when I found out I stopped. He's playing the victim telling me that I'm not the only one being civil. I'm the only one not being civil because I don't acknowledge him and truly believes he's done nothing wrong. My emotions are all over the place as you can imagine as I feel so disrespected and betrayed by him. I need your voice advice advice <laughs> on how I should go about dealing with this or how I can move past for myself I'm just at such a loss right now because our friends don't want to get too involved they don't want to make it awkward for a group scenario so these are in the same friend group mm-hmm. fucking dickheads there's a way about going I know I think people move on quickly and some people are like checked out early of a relationship but there's a way of going about it when you're in the same friend group yeah with each other. I just think that boys and girls just they just think process of stuff. things. Yeah, so they different. process things and like to him that might not be a big deal at all like that. Yeah. Mm. That's just how how it is. Like they're not together, he's single. Yeah. And, do you know what I mean? They don't see it as as a respect kind of thing. Yeah. They're like I'm single. So yeah. what? So they like, don't see the th- Yeah. And in it, like which is he's not wrong, he is. Yeah. But it's it's the is it morality is that what you call yeah, it? Morality morals, yeah, yeah. 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 Everybody has different morals. Like to somebody else, that could be fine. so yeah, yeah, so fine. Like to one person, that could be grand. Like what are mm-hmm. you now for? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas your morals might be a little bit different. You'd be like, how could he do that? Like I, yeah. just because you could never think of doing it yourself, if I'm not making excuse, hurt yeah, so much. Yeah. I'm not making excuses for him at all. But yeah, your morals and his morals could be completely different. Yeah. So you shouldn't. No, you obviously are going to be upset and angry, but. You also can't expect someone to have the same heart as you. Yeah. Yeah. I think as well when someone, he's after breaking up with her, when you're in a breakup mindset, like you're kind of in a selfish mindset. Yeah. Which isn't bad because you no, should be yeah. selfish for your happiness, but like you're not really thinking of the other person. No, yeah. And you're making decisions and like it'll come back to bite him. Like he will end up being like, fuck, I, I feel really shit yeah. like that. Or like if someone wants to do it to him, How would he, he feel? wouldn't yeah. like it. But I think it's for now he's on a, like a big, fucking bender of kissing people and whatever and like maybe having this thing oh I'm single now but like it obviously can call it back first of all and second of all it's just a phase where he's going to look back on and be like that was really shit of me yeah someone I was with for four years it will it, it will click with him like, yeah yeah it will the only thing that makes it easier though knowing that when you're with someone four years and seeing them do that when you're heartbroken you feel like your heart's been ripped out your chest yeah God, and then your friends aren't really getting involved either. I would like, I think your friends should be like here, you're being a bit shy, like. Yeah, his friends to say. Yeah, or no, because they're in the same friend group. So someone who's close to the girl maybe could be like, look, I know you're single, but like there's, she, it's upsetting her. Like, yeah. if it's upsetting someone, then you have to be more careful, I think. Even if you're single, like if you're at the end of the day upsetting someone you cared about for four years. 
maybe think twice about it then. Um, or even would you talk to him about it? Yeah. I'd send a big paragraph and be like, hey, so, <laughs> dot, dot, here's dot. the deal. Yeah. yeah, I need to talk. Just be like, uh, tell him hey, how I you, understand yeah. you're single. It's like, that's fine, but like, you're telling my friends not to tell me that I'm that you have to kiss some people. Um, and it's just making me feel a bit shy and not helping me get over the situation. Yeah. Um, just want to let you know that it's upsetting. Yeah, I you don't tell him to stop, but just no, like, yeah. you know, it's really, it's actually really getting to me. Like, yeah, no shame just that. tell him how it's making you feel rather than looking for an answer for it. Of, of like, yeah, yeah, you need to stop doing this. Stop yeah. going out kissing people. You're single, but I don't want you to. Like, yeah, you can't, you can't do that to somebody. No, you can't expect to ask. Somebody. No. Yeah. yeah, even though you wish you could, mm-hmm. but yeah, I think telling him how it's making you feel will help you heal this from the situation. Yeah. It'll help you so. move on from it and kind of... bit of closure, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just like, right, I got it off my chest of how he's making me feel because he's acting like he doesn't know that it's going to yeah. upset me. And then either way, if he does stop, it's great. And if he doesn't, then you can be like, you know, fuck you, I've, I've I told you, you yeah. that upset me. And it kind of get, actually makes it easier when you hate someone to yeah. get over them. To be honest, as shit as that sounds, but it, sounds, it will. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We hope you're okay. The next one that we have then is... Hi girls, so myself and my boyfriend have been together for over two years now. I'm 23 and he's 31, so there's quite an age gap. When we met in January 2020, I had just come out of a four-year relationship. When we met, I made it clear I wasn't looking for anything serious and played the field. Of course, I wasn't exclusive to him after only meeting him. When we met that January, I didn't know him at all. Fast forward maybe three weeks after meeting him, I stayed in his house overnight and he freaked out because I still had Tinder on my phone. The next day, when I left, I consulted the girls and decided to run a mile, lol. (laughs) I texted him and said we need to go our separate ways and blamed it on the fact that I was starting college and wouldn't be around as much. He freaked, called me every name he could and blocked me off Messenger where we mostly talked. Of course, I blocked him then off everything else and even though it was March, even though it was March, tried to have a hot girl summer. I went off with another man during this time. It was roughly two weeks after being blocked by him for context. We'll call the second man. Tim. Tim. Myself and my boyfriend made up about two weeks after I had seen Tim. Myself and my boyfriend made up about two weeks after I had seen Tim because he had texted me on WhatsApp. I forgot to block him on this, lol. And he invited me over to make things right. He found out about Tim a couple of months later and called me awful names while I was on a family holiday in front of my family. Oh no. We stayed together during all of this, but sometimes he'll still bring up the whole Tim situation in an argument. He always fights with me over stupid little things. Like if I have... If I have to stay an hour behind in work or if I'm home late from college, I commute from the next county over every day for college and get stuck in terrible traffic. He has a very bad temper too. He would honestly go nuts over anything when he's in a mood. We live together and I don't really know if I'm I don't really know if I'm done or not, but I do know I don't want to live like this forever. Whenever I've told him I'm out and can't live like this anymore, he'll say if I walk out the door, I'll never be welcome back. Almost like he's trying to scare me into staying. Mm. He doesn't have a job and he doesn't have any future goals. Ah, here. Me, on the other hand, have just been offered a management job. My question is, do you girls think there is any fix in this relationship? And if not, how do I get out of the situation? I've taken the two into you quiz from Women's Aid. Oh, after listening to the episode and it's saying he's trying to control me. Honestly, girls, my head is wrecked and I need all the help I can get. P.S. I love you both so much and I want you to know you are an inspiration to all young girls. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, love you. Oh, girly pops. God. Love you. That is... Yeah, he's not being very nice. No. I'm trying to scare you into saying, what the fuck? It's giving control, like, he, that's yeah. exactly what it's he is. It's giving the start of a very toxic... Well, yeah. it's not the start, like, but... Yeah. He screams. Toxic. And especially, this man is 31 years of age. There's no... Nothing else is developing in his brain. That's how he is, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, was, if that was when someone's younger, it's still not okay. Obviously, but <clears> like, <throat> if there if there was a teenage relationship, I'd be like, yeah, it's like a bit more it makes sense. But like, that just doesn't make any sense either way. How do you get out of the situation? First of all, should she get out? Yes, yes, definitely. Like, he's literally little by little. I'd say it's only when you look back. Or when you, if you get out of this, you'll be like, oh my God, how much you have to When you see it from changed. the outside, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, even calling your names in front of your family, I don't think I could ever be with someone again. Who's on that? Jeez. That's like, they don't give a fuck about what your family think about. But to your family? What to your family, like? 
for being with someone when you broke up as well. My family hit the roof if somebody started shouting. Yeah, exactly. Like, I'm trying to scare you into saying, I think even you do in that quiz. And like, like, that is manipulation. He is trying to force you to say somewhere you don't want to be. Yeah. He knows you don't want to be there because yeah. he probably knows how horribly you're treating him. Yeah. And he wants that control. But like, even him not having a job and just wants, doesn't want to do anything ever. That just around. screams. Red flag. Yeah. He, they haven't, he has no time other, sorry, nothing else to do with his day other than control her. Like, He's relying on you for his day. everything, like, yeah, yeah, happiness, yeah. everything, everything. So, yeah, that's scary. If you, if, if all, if all you, what? If <laughs> I was gonna say, if all your eggs are in the one basket with someone else, but no, I'm trying to say, if you rely on somebody else for everything to do with you, like your happiness, your fucking entertainment, your yeah relationship, like. If it's someone else's responsibility to fuel your day. That's not right. No. No. Mm. Not healthy. Even if it's not a toxic in a toxic way, like that's not healthy for anyone. No. To be and like the person in the person who is being relied on then feels this big pressure. Yeah. Of like someone waiting that's on so heavy, everything. Yeah. yeah. And and even with him, like, he mightn't even be a person who's naturally like that, but because he relies on you for so much. He's probably like, oh my God, I need to control because I need her in my life because mm. I need it. It doesn't make it okay, but he is not a good person to be with. If you're an hour late coming home from college or something. Yeah, like, like oh. you don't want to be walking. Someone you have to walk on eggshells with, that's not love. Like, no. That's not a relationship. That's not happy. Like, that's, you don't need a fucking, not even your parents to do that. Think about it that way. Your boyfriend should be adding to your life and not making you scared to be late or like. Yeah, if, he's not, if he's not adding to your life. Yeah, exactly. What is he offering? Trying to leave it though, like I think his a lot of time their word his words were empty of saying, Oh, if you're if you walk out the door, don't don't come back. But like do you we don't want to come back. No, yeah. That do you know, he's not like if it was something like he was kind of saying threatening stuff, I'd say a different option of what to do. But if he's if he's just saying if you're leaving, don't come back, I'd be like, Yeah, see ya. Lovely, yeah. 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 He's really giving you the the way out, yeah. kind of. Yeah, like, that's, yeah, it's scary. But I think you have a trauma bond with him. I don't think there's there's actually much love there, probably. It's more like the ups and downs and, like, you're trying to please him and now you're kind of coming out but you're like, oh, here, I can't do this anymore. The roller coaster is what kept you there for so that's long fair, and yeah. you're actually realising the fuck. Yeah, you don't want that. Like, yeah. Yeah. Because that is not love. But I think, yeah, leaving and yeah leave it if I, think, and I think you're writing in is like the first good step like it's not you're yeah. in denial you know this is wrong mm. you've done the quiz even going on to doing that quiz it kind of it's probably people who kind of think oh god is there something wrong and like there is I think these kind of relationships that you know you really should get get out of I think the only way to do it is like a, a hard breakup like do you know what I mean yeah like none of this Back and forth, and what's yeah. the word I use when they flittering, like flittering, yeah, 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 yeah. none of that because that's giving him false hope then that he can kind of coerce you back in, or yeah, whatever. yeah. Is that the word coerce? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I think it needs to be like a solid stop to yeah. it. Yeah, done, Defo. Last one is hi girls. I came out of a bad relationship last December. In April, I got chatting to someone I would have known briefly. We started seeing each other in May. He would ring on his way home from work and say, "I must be." doing something right because all he wants to do is ring me when he come out of work he was a decent fella owns his own business and is going places I was afraid once I told him about my bad relationship and stuff he would run but he didn't so we stayed seeing each other until September then he rang me and said he cares so much about me and doesn't want to lose me and would hate for us to ever fight and fall out and hate each other so he wanted to stay friends so he could be there and help me through this hard patch because I have a lot going on I really appreciate that because he's the only one always there and checking in the thing is he still rings some lights on his way home from work texts most days like he would have when we were together and we're still very flirty. I'm just wondering how do you set the boundary of us being friends? We both know we are but we still carry on like we're together without the intimate side of it if that makes sense. I really don't want to lose him as a friend because he's the only one I can rely on but I still kind of want to for my own sake just have it more we, we are friends because I would be afraid if he came back and said he was seeing someone new that I would get jealous when that's not what I want. I want him to be happy. Oh. I think you're always going to get a bit jealous if you have self feelings there. Mm. Yeah, but like, ma- yeah, yeah. Once you feel and something, yeah, you start talking about someone else. It's just our instinct. It's just in us. But isn't it mad how like 
people like I've spoken to like that I've been we're, we're saying and you talk to about different people now and it's like or you have in the past like it's weird how you don't just don't care anymore. Yeah, like you do that get feeling, it, yeah. that feeling of like the not and like when you oh, first oh, and like, thinking of them doing the things that you do. Ends up you in you doing. giving them yeah. relationship advice yeah. for their new things. Like it's mad That's thinking broke. of them with someone doing the things that you would have done together and stuff. Like yeah, it used to like yeah yeah, I know. And then you just get to a stage being like, oh well, if they're happy, okay, they're happy. Yeah, yeah. I think if he really happy. is just a friend to you, like that. Don't be thinking, oh, what if you get someone new? I get jealous. Like, I feel like you don't worry about it before it happens. Yeah, yeah, but you're also, I think you still have feelings for me. Yeah, I think so. Like it wasn't her choice to just be friends. Yeah. Um. Would you kind of be not friends for a bit? Like, until the feelings go away? Is that possible? If he wants to help her to the hard patch? If it's going to make your life harder, I'd say, just be like, look, I still have feelings and I just don't. Yeah. I think this is a good idea. Just tell him exactly how it is for you. Yeah, you're going through a hard patch. If this is making... If life without him... If life with him was harder than without him, then... Without him, yeah. But then it's harder if he's a good person to have around when something bad's happening. But I wonder, is it someone you could, like... Don't maybe talk every day like he used to. Like, maybe you're feeling really sad or, like, you need to go on a drive. Like, times like that, he could be there. Yeah. We don't... If you talk to him every day, it's going to be such a... a Don't rely on him every day then, yeah. Yeah. And, And tell him that as well, like that. Yeah. It can't be an everyday it thing. It doesn't to be every day. You don't need someone every day. No, yeah. Talk to like, that's just gonna give you false hope, and you're gonna in the back of your head think that he's trying to get back in. Happen, yeah. yeah. Well, why is he flirting with her? I know. Jake. I know. Saying, "Oh, it's my mind." Be, like, just want to be there for you. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, such a fucking geez. man thing to say. <laughs> did I? Did I bring you socks out when I came out that time? No, I didn't. Didn't I? Not fuck. I only thought, "Look no. at your sock there." Yeah. Oh, I was gonna bring you <laughs> ones like that though. That's not a pop sock. This thing is ending up halfway down. Well, like, I would have brought you the same. It's one of those weird ones. Oh, sh- And every oh, time no. I walk, it keeps going halfway down. Oh, I had everything shoe. else in my hand. <laughs> everything. Okay, Chewing Mark, a bowl of you. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you see that chewing a bowl in my car? Yeah. <laughs> it was a ceramic bowl. <laughs> it's, it's sweet chili chain. It's not going to smell bad. My car going to be honking at <laughs> No, it won't. It actually got lovely. It was nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, God. Yeah, I think, think about cutting contact a little bit you don't have to complete cut from real life no that's yeah. you to do that but I think the constant talking and flirting and stuff is not good for your head and you need to reel away from it a little bit yeah it's going to confuse you come away from it a little, yeah because yeah. he is sending mixed signals and we don't want to deal with that trip. no 2023 we're not dealing with Mm-mm. it so you can send in your, your dilemmas to holemydrink at goloudnow.com it's our email address where we get all our dilemmas in new episodes of Hold My Drink extra use come out Mondays our main episodes are out Wednesdays um, make sure to like rate and subscribe and we'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday, birds. Love you. Love you, love. Bye. Bye. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.